Uh, we have a very familiar face. It's Jackson. It's Jackson uh, once again, and we've seen him so much on stream. I'm already used to the blonde hair. So Saint is still wearing his suit. Three days in a row, he's been dressed very formally. Uh, I like that. I know like in top level chess, they have to wear suits. I'm appreciative that they let us wear t-shirts because I am not a, ca a formal person, but uh, everyone has their own style and you love to see it. And Jackson gets what we call more of a baby bingo down of snooted. Uh, and that'll right away put Saint to the test. He's already grabbing his head. We're only 30 seconds into this game and that's just Scrabble for you. Yeah. And it, it so would be a bit, a bit better for Saint if he had a nicer rack uh, to work with after that, but he's going to have to work through this one, I think, a couple of turns right. at least. So what is your thought when the opponent opens a bingo with you against you? Do you try and change your strategy or just sort of continue as you would? Yeah, I, you, can't, you can't dwell on it too much. Um, I mean, so many times, uh, in both cases, when I've opened with a bingo and when my opponents opened with a bingo, the dynamics of the, the game change very quickly. And you can see that other person who was down at the beginning um, very quickly flip things around. So it's, it's really something you just have to accept and not give too much weight and know that anything can happen within a turn or two. And yeah, just, uh, just keep going. Uh, yeah, I totally agree on that. We saw Ori open with a bingo and then lose by about 80. So it, it can swing very quickly. Of course, in that game, Jackson responded to Ori's bingo with a, another bingo. One thing I, I don't necessarily like to do when I'm down an early bingo is do all those overlaps, taking out all those floaters. Um, he Wob does make sense, though. I'm not saying it's the wrong play, but I like to try and keep more lanes open because getting hit with a bingo, you want to be able to respond sooner than later with your own. Um, but Wob certainly scores best and seems like a good play. Um, Joey, when I talk about baby bingos, I guess I was talking about high probability bingos as opposed to the score of the bingo. Um, but I guess there's different terminologies there as Jackson cleans up his rack here uh, with Arioso, which I think is a musical term. Mm -hmm. um, players are still discussing the end game of the previous game. It was just such a <laughs> it really was a decision. An interesting one. Um, I still don't know what the right plays were. I loved hearing Joel's analysis on the pun turn. I think it made so much sense. It was so much uh, deeper and more eloquent than the thoughts I was having. So I, I love to learn. Um, at the end of the day, you're really competing against yourself more than anyone else. You just want to keep getting better and keep trying to achieve personal bests. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm very strong at this game, but I think one area I definitely lag behind some of these players is the end game. And I really try to improve in that sense. Um, but let's stay on the action here. Saint has uh, two C's, two I's, an E, an M, and a D. Uh, you could clean up this rack by just playing Mike, M-I-C, which would also set up his E for emo and mice uh, and leave dice. So uh, it, it's tricky here. Um, you could also play longer. Uh, the top simming play is actually breaking up the rack with a city, A-C-C-I-D-I-E. So a mm. tricky word. We will see if Saint knows if he if he plays it. Uh, if he even if he knows it, he might not play it. He might fish. Uh, previous games watching Saint on stream, he seems to like to leave bingo prone leaves and fish. So I think a play like Mike, from what I understand of Saint's game, seems more up his alley. Um, it's also I think the play I would make. So we will see what comes down here. Um, would you be looking sort of just to play off three sort of tiles, leave that nice balanced four tile league we've been discussing? Yeah, 
Uh, I mean, for a few reasons, there's just not a lot of um, places where those tiles are going to to play. I mean, there are no two letter words with the C at all. So that that quickly takes that uh, parallel option off the table. And now you're left with with yeah, either starting with the D or the M. Right. That's, that's really all about yeah. uh, you could do. So I, I'm because of, uh, time for me is so valuable. I take a lot of it. I rarely end up with more than two minutes on my clock at the end of the game. So this is a turn where I would likely play quite quite quickly and maybe to my detriment, but I don't see the value in. No, I, I like the thought process. I think there are some turns you should play really fast and other turns that people really need to take time with. Uh, I like to leave time for the end game for the reasons I was saying that I find I'm not as uh, adept at it as players like Jackson and uh, Joel. So Saint's going to play longer here. Dermic, I don't love this decision. I just think the C I leave is not so great. I think he's behind, so I don't like what the C down there does to the board. Um, this isn't the sort of play that I would be making. Um, but that's all right. Uh, everyone has their own style. Jackson has arrow set up. The aggressive spot would be at the top of the board, uh, forming OD, but that puts an A in a very dangerous spot. Um, he's now reconsidering. He has row now lined up. That would leave three vowels on his rack. So um, it's going to be a, an interesting turn here for Jackson. The yeah, same, by the way, like the X City play best and then Mike second best. Uh, go ahead, Heather. I was I was going to say. I mean, he he he. I think does have some thoughts here. Like there there's some actual choices right. to be made that will change the board quite dramatically depending on what he what he decides. And he'll play row there. Um, the A I E R goes pretty nicely with the floating D. Um, if you draw some consonants, it'll be nice. People are saying as we update our straddle, Scrabble strategies with more computer analyses that vowels are not as bad as we previously thought. But the problem is, look what Jackson's drawn, two more vowels. And um, that's tough. Putting the A up top is also difficult. Uh, I didn't love the play of Dermic, but it did play off five tiles. and Which it has blank, benefited so. him. Yep, he, he did capitalize on that opportunity. Yeah, um, and we've seen Saint win a lot of games on stream. He now has Yuka lined up. That's a good idea. When you have the blank, opening up the triple lane is always sort of nice, even if putting the Y in the fourth position and holding KI, it won't really hit that spot a lot. Um, you could play Yuka, you could play Yuck. Uh, the, he's going to play Yuka. It definitely scores nicely. Yuka is a root. Um, so K.I. blank is not the most bingo prone, but he's scoring nicely and still holding that blank. Uh, I think this is perfectly reasonable. I was going to say we, uh, somebody in the chat spotted a playable bingo for Jackson and so did Jackson. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even have a chance to look, uh, that end looks a touch hidden, but not hidden from the crafty eyes of Mr. Smiley. And this is a baby bingo in both senses of the word, Joey. A uh, small score and a high probability play. So we are having some nice action both ways here as that is the sort of play, Heather, you want to play instantly. Uh, yes. The only other potential tile there, I guess, is the D. Very quickly, Jackson will see there's nothing. And then just throw that down. Don't use clock. You might need that clock later for a very difficult turn or sequence of turns, as we saw in the last game. Um, so let's see what St. Drew. Uh, looks like oil. Oh, he's got oh, both, both, both blanks. Uh, that's cool. a nice time to have the Y open. Uh, maybe he doesn't even mm. bingo here and tries to leave something oh to go for God. a triple. Oh, no, it's good. Lekathoi? Uh, oh, Lekathoi. 
goodness. I am very proud to say that I've played that word without a blank um, against our clubmate, the great Tony Leah. Uh, I <laughs> I wish you had seen his face afterwards. He was <laughs> definitely not expecting that to come. It was right after COVID. My word knowledge improved dramatically during COVID. Uh, before that, I was definitely not the sort of player who would have ever gotten that down. Uh, so. That was one of the lowest probability bingos I've ever played. And it would be with two blanks here. If he were to find that, um, <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> People are trying to come up with terms for that bingo because it's so difficult. It's like the counter to a baby bingo might be a grandpa bingo, a centurion bingo. Uh, 167 points. like. Wow. So I was that talking about fishing for a triple triple. It's already there and it's already going to score for more than what he would fish for. But I, this is a tough ask for anyone on stream, especially. Uh, Jackson has a phony set up on his rack, uh, out paved. I was just typing it into the program here because I didn't like it, but uh, I, I think he's going to try it. Jackson likes to be aggressive. Jackson's word knowledge, I think, is stronger than Saints. So um, we will see what happens on the following turn. If Lekathoi comes down, then Outpaved will come down for sure because he'll just need the points. Um, it's also possible Jackson thinks it's good. It definitely sounds reasonable. Would you challenge that word or do you think it sounds reasonable? Well, let. The, there's a consideration in ha in Jackson having played it, but Jackson has phonied against me before. I think he's well aware of my lack yeah. of word knowledge. So if I thought it was stinky, I wouldn't be yeah. afraid to challenge it. So then it would just be the other considerations about whether challenging made strategic sense. Uh, but outpaved, yeah, I don't like the way that sounds. It's, it has yeah, it sounds a bit silly. Today. Like, is Toronto outpaved compared to the suburbs? Like, I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, we, we, Toronto could really use some outpaving. <laughs> yeah. I'd love uh, if somebody could outpave the rest of the workers that are actually in charge of paving Toronto. That would be really helpful. But I don't think it's true. It, it would be. And um, Jackson, I agree with you. He phonies a lot, especially against players with weaker word knowledge. Yeah, uh, when I was coming up the scene, I mentioned how nice he was to me in teaching me strategy, but he was very cold to me in putting down Boney's turn after turn, knowing that at, while I was still new to the game at a high level, I just didn't know what these words <laughs> he were. Not even the bingos, just he would put down anything. And yeah. it's okay, like, Yoke welcome was, to the top uh, division. Was so one of the, the more... Um obvious playable bingos that somebody spotted in the in the chat and right. we'll have to tell um, saint about lekathoi at some point yeah uh so as i was mentioning between the last game when we were doing the interviews this is the time when you uh interview the players to tell them about the plays they miss while they're already a bit rattled so um i think that play hopefully won't rattle them too much just because of how obscure it is nobody expects too that no, uh, and, no. and he had cryolite racked up uh, on his rack, so maybe he saw that one as well. It just, he might not have been as sure of that, so he played one that he's definitely sure of. This also doesn't give anything back, so it looks like a great idea. Um, he also had Nautilus through the T as a double-double. Um, so oh, that would have been another possibility, K-N-O-T-T-I-L-Y, but again, even though that makes sense as a word, it could be a word he wasn't a hundred percent sure of. Um, wow, lots of comments in the chat. I think we're just seeing such high level Scrabble. People are just really getting into this series of games, uh, maybe even more so than the ones we saw a couple days ago. And that's because as the tournament goes on, uh, we're starting to see only the very best of the best on stream. We're gonna try and keep you at board one I think Jackson right now is debating if outpaved is good. He's uh, looking up to the ceiling. I think he has to play that immediately or not at all. Uh, if if, yeah. if Saints seeing him debate it and think about it, and it looks terrible. 
not a good combination. So I suspect he's not going to play it. That's my prediction. Yeah, that's that's really uh, intuitive, Heather. A lot of players, if they know it's a bingo, they're going to play it pretty quickly, almost snap play it, as we say. Uh, but then uh, more mind games come into play, and what people will do is uh, they will actually take time on a word they're sure of uh, yes. to try and induce the challenge. And I, I like how Jackson started with the OU as if to say to the stream, you think I'm going to phony, but I'm not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did he do that for us? He might have. He's smiling. He's smiling. He may have just been yeah, like, he's yeah. smiling. And then after all that, he makes by far the best play, a very difficult play to find, uh, a past tense version of up dive, which is already an obscure word. And he gets the V to triple, the whole play to double. Uh, what a great play. 40 points, way better than anything else. And I think if Lekathoi came down, we would have seen the outpaved attempt. But without that, I like the idea to not give Saint the chance to challenge that off the board. Okay, so... Um, Saint is down 30, but it's his turn, so it's pretty much a, an even game here at the moment. Um, Jackson with a slight lead, but Saint has too many vowels, and as so often happens, if one player has too many vowels, the other one tends to have too many consonants. And we do see that with Jackson's rack. So he has Hay set up. Uh, and I'm trying to think where he might play that. Uh, I guess, oh, with sh. So that's tough to see with those double blanks. Um, you sort of forget that they're a tile that you can use to work with. So that's definitely, I think, how you can score the most points on this board is putting that H beneath the blank S and then playing something... Uh, going forward from it, but instead he's going to play AHA, which is honestly just as good. Uh, Quackle seems to like hay with the slightest of margins over AHA, but it has the plays is basically even. I like this idea to hang on to the E also. We just saw a couple E's come down with inertia. Um, there's already been five E's played, so um, there are a lot of E's left. I think that one was really close. Uh, he sees Meringue right away, but uh, no room for Meringue on this board. So over to Jackson. He's just going to play Law. Oh, Lawn. Okay. So that's very aggressive. Um, mm -hmm. Lawn takes a Y. Lawn takes an S. One Y played uh one s played and both blanks played so this works out pretty well for jackson without um saint having the s yet and jackson knew he had all those consonants so that's why he played more uh that spot heather is really gonna be big going forward as at the moment neither player has the tile to address it yeah it feels like uh jackson is making an aggressive open play like that in, in a bluffy kind of way where he really wants to, to telegraph to his opponent that he's going to take advantage of that spot next turn. And, and it, it is very intimidating. Yeah. Um, you can definitely sometimes try and distract your opponent and get them to overcompensate blocking a lane that isn't necessarily mm -hmm. the main goal for them. Uh, Jackson knows that after Saint played Yokius, it's not like he's been hanging on to an S for multiple turns. So his chances to have an S here aren't necessarily guaranteed. And the Y hook, um, he might not even be certain of. Uh, so I see G E U M. I don't know how to pronounce that one, but uh, that or N E U M in the same spot being parallel to lawn, it actually would address the spot that opened, but. Um, Okay, so you can play Neem. So this is a miss by Saint, not yeah. noticing that the U could go there yeah. instead of that other E. That's definitely. Uh, but, but maybe he'll draw the Q and it'll work out for him. So um, it remains to be seen. 
Whereas Jackson already has his idea lined up and it's infixed with that T. And uh, some of those words take the T past tense hook. I believe infixed is good with the T. Um, I'm going to double check that for us because I don't want to give you the wrong. No, it is not good. Uh, okay, so, so he's not going to put the T on it. Okay, uh, so unfixed does take a T. Um, so it, these are just some of the minutiae in this dictionary that players have to be familiar with. And uh, maybe he could have tried the T, it would have been a tough challenge, but P and T goes together pretty decently. So he's gonna hang on to it. No, Adam, infix does not take the T, at least not in this lexicon. Um, unfix would, infix is a verb, so uh, it, it would take an ED, but the past tense T is more of a, a British spelling. It doesn't always show up in our dictionary. Uh, at my level, I'm supposed to know these things. This time I didn't. So Saints now uh, did draw the Q following that uh, not playing off the U <laughs> play. I don't think that was necessarily a, a strategy, but... Uh, it worked out it, and look how nicely that is. That the Q was out, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, wow. like players find when they what play off play? the U's. Oh my goodness. When they play off the U's, they just seem like they're going to draw the Q. It just seems like that's what happens. Well, <laughs> this time it was sort of the opposite. And I just had a feeling it was going to happen. Like it feel like, felt like you messed up. And yet it just worked out so well. How and that points, beautiful find of Infix by Jackson just gets yeah. crushed by uh, quite for 57. Oh yeah. Wow. Um, so that is going to bring the game pretty much neck and neck. Jackson still uh, needs some more vowels. So I don't know if he has a way to address this. Um, so I'm going to actually use the computer program here to see what it thinks. Uh, palm in the bottom left, that looks pretty easy to find, or glam. Glam makes a lot of sense because he's leaving all those ends. So if he were to draw an I, he could get INT bingos, like he's close to planting right now, for example. But um, there are only two I's left in the bag uh, with 28 unseen tiles. So there aren't that many I's for him to go for. Um, so you could also play plu to the EW, dropping the P and the L, but that would leave G-A-N-N-T on a board where that sort of stuff doesn't really work very well. So despite the lack of eyes, I think glam is sort of the idea that I see. Jackson, of course, being so creative, is looking elsewhere. He has T-A-N-G set up, and I have no idea this time where he would be putting that. Um, we are allowing the slurs on stream in this broadcast on YouTube. Um, yeah, Cesar's pointed out how the rule by the producers was there's one specific word that isn't allowed, but all the other words that were removed from the dictionary are allowed in these Wigpo events. Um, so does anyone see where Jackson's looking to play Tang? He's up. I guess he's picked up his tiles, we might see right now. Oh, oh he's playing with the most. Right. Uh, is Saint going to hold here? He's staring at it very closely and he's saying something that might be hold. Yeah, it looks like he's held the play. Yeah, Jackson's not drawing his tiles, which would suggest that he's been asked to hold on a second. Oh, he's taking his provisionals. What is Saint uh, going to do? Well, he's laughing a bit. He's talking with Jackson. Mm -hmm. um, I, I thought he might try it the first time. He didn't. Now he's trying it the second time. Uh, this is a tough challenge for Saint. As I said, unfixed is good. So you have to have a real mastery of the dictionary to know that infixed isn't good. Um, 
Jackson, you can see, has the four tiles he's drawn turned upside down on the table. He hasn't put them onto his rack, so he's definitely still on hold. Hold meaning that Saint is considering challenging. In a tournament, if you want to um, challenge a play, if you don't challenge it instantly, you have to say hold. And that allows you to take as long as you want to consider if you're going to challenge. Uh, it's risky because if you were wrong on this challenge, he would lose his turn. So uh, the other thing is it can be easier to challenge bingos when like a play when it's a bingo because it scores so many more points. But this play, uh, it didn't really score all that much. I think about 25. So it makes it even tougher to challenge. But you can see by the way Saint reacted, he doesn't really like the look of it, I don't think. Yeah, the, the score is close, which also makes it really difficult to be bold and, and challenge you. In those situations, you almost want to just take whatever lumps are and keep the score close and play on this turn. Right. Robin, he does have courtesy tiles. They're turned upside down on his uh, table there. Uh, so he's already peeked at them, and now he's just trying to consider. Uh, Saint could drop the J in front of EW. That would score 26. Um, it would leave bagels, and that is a reasonable leave there. Uh, Tang. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is what I find the most frustrating part of Scrabble, when you just don't know. It's very possible he's 50-50 on this. It might be good, it might not be good, but... He's down to seven minutes. Uh, as hard as it is and as crucial of a decision as this is, he has to decide uh, sooner rather than later because with 28 unseen tiles, there's a lot of games to be played. So he's shaking his head. If you don't like it, I want to see the challenge. But if not, drop that J and, and let's go. I wonder if Jackson knows if it's good. Uh, or, I mean, knows if it's bad or if he's unsure himself. Uh, looks like he's accepted the play because both players are now crossing off on their sheet, I think. We'll see if Jackson picks up his tiles. Um, they might be checking on the score. Uh, Saint would want to know the exact score and make sure he had it right before. Yeah, he is accepting so it. he's going to accept it. And he will play Jew for 26. Um, Jackson, we'll, we'll see what he drew out of his four tiles. Uh, okay. So his tiles are sort of close. Saint's asking, why bagels? You know, you could have bread, you could have muffins. Uh, but Jackson first will have to figure out how to navigate this sort of difficult rack. And We've been talking a lot about tempo. This is where I'd like to see Jackson start playing pretty fast. Um, Saints been a bit nervous in some of these stream games. Uh, it, it's very tense playing on stream, and he only has six minutes left with a lot of the game to go. If Jackson, because he had already been looking at his rack for a couple minutes, if he has an idea in mind, I'd like to see it come down pretty quickly. Um, Sean likes gloms and lawns, uh, which definitely makes sense. Uh, scores a lot. Uh, and it it still sets up that G where Jackson still holds um, the case N. So going for ING bingos actually looks very nice because uh, the two I's still remain unseen, but he has the last N. Uh, and he, look what he has set up. Uh, great idea by Sean. Anytime Jackson makes the same play you're thinking of, it's a great idea. Now Noah also likes the idea. So this is very exciting. Yeah, Noah likes the challenge rule. Um, I find it frustrating, but it is what makes the game fun. Uh, in the Collins division, which we've seen in some of the afternoons, we might see this afternoon, uh, the Collins they have a five point challenge. So in that, in that case, Jackson might not have played the word. If he did, Saint would have for sure challenged at a risk of only five points. The difference between losing five points or losing your whole turn is massive considering the average score for players this caliber is about 30 points, uh, even higher in the middle of the game. The average gets brought down a bit by 
small little plays near the end of the game. So maybe not higher on this closed board, but generally higher. Um, yeah, Les Begay, that would be a fun sort of word within a floater of an eye. Um, Saint is now uh, ticking down to about five minutes. And in a close game like this, we could see an end game. So I'm already nervous for him. Um, Heather, you said you often get right down to your clocks. So you're probably a bit more comfortable in these positions. I tend to play a bit faster earlier and try and leave myself time. He'll play, oh, that's nice. And is that, that's one of those ones that doesn't take an S surprisingly, I think. It's an adjective that means like a skew. A... Right, a ride. That's what it says in Zizva. Nice word knowledge there from you, Heather. I, I didn't know the meaning, but I did remember from Scrabble that that's one of those ones that doesn't take an S. Uh, and Saint has the last S's, so Jackson won't be able to try his usual tricks there. A P for bush pigs, wouldn't that be fun? Ooh. Uh, yeah. But uh, I don't think there are, is there a P out? No. So that's not going to come. Let's see. Oh, the P is on Jackson's rack. Wow. If he were to play that somewhere out in space, maybe. Yeah, play it out in space, Jackson. Oh, that would be a lot of fun. Um, so Jackson, I did tell him that, I did say that he should play fast, but he can't play recklessly. Uh, the previous turn I wanted to play fast because he'd already been looking at his tiles for several minutes while Saint was thinking. So in that sense, you can play fast. Here, you still have to play informed. Um, there are only 15 tiles in scene, so Saint's clock isn't as problematic as it seemed maybe a couple turns ago. Uh, so Pervy at 12K is what Jackson seems to be thinking. That's the why that Saint just floated out there. Uh, okay, there is one potential play that could put the P in space, Pterin, P-T-E-R-I-N, through the eye of Dermic. So if we see that, we could see the very fun bush pigs, uh, which I haven't even checked up. It's in the dictionary, but it's such a common word. I would, I would think it has to be, uh, not as two words. Yeah, okay. Um, so... Uh, Pervy makes more sense, though. You want to get rid of that V. It's not conducive uh, to having some flexibility. You, Taren would keep the V and the Z, so two uh, difficult to work tiles. So I, I don't see any way he makes that play. Although it is the third highest simming play after Pervy and Zip. Mm. Uh, Pervy comes down. Saint has his bugs set up on his rack. Uh, we have seen three great games to start this morning. I know they've all been close. They've all given us some really interesting uh, decisions to, to consider and make vicariously. Um, yeah, and anytime you watch a game with Jackson, I find you get good games because he's so creative and and he, he rarely blunders, so it just tends to lead to this high-level Scrabble, and that's what has him out in first place in this tournament, although Josh did win his last game, so he's come back to just one game behind Jackson. Uh, Eric is only one game behind Josh, and Saint and Zach Ansel, who is really having a great tournament, are... Oh, sorry, uh, Zach has the same number of wins as Eric. Uh, Saint is alone in fifth place at 13 wins. That's the last money position at the moment. Um, there will also be class prizes though. So the top B uh, person in A would be Jonathan Lynn right now. So he and Sam right behind him. So lots of players in contention uh, for the money right now. Still a long way to go. We got one more game this morning. Uh, Matt Kanick will be with you for four this afternoon as well as uh, three or four tomorrow morning to conclude this tournament. I believe four. Uh, Quackle likes Grub here, setting up his case S's. That looks like a great idea. Um, so when you have the final S's, they just hold, or any final tile, they hold so much more power. 
you can think of tiles as sort of having their own attributes as if it was a different sort of card game where a, one tile might allow you to um, uh, play off something extra or block your opponent or whatever the, the thing could be. So here, what S can do is hook a word like grub. Um, if he doesn't, there are 11 in the bag, by the way. I'll type it out for you now. Um, this is from Saint's perspective. So he's looking at some pretty heavy scoring tiles in the F and the Z, as well as a lot of bingo tiles in the in the Tinder sort of leave, two E's and two R's and two T's, but those sort of tiles. Um, no problem. I'll, remember, if I forget to tell you, uh, just let me know. You could play hub. You could play rub, also setting up your S if you don't want to play one more tile. Um, I really like the idea of setting up the, oh, he sets up the H and the S. That's clever. So Vug, if people aren't familiar with these strange words, also takes a back H. Um, so, and that's going to be a different spot for Jackson sort of to address. He's going to count how many tiles are in the bag. Um, uh, someone's asking what's in the bag. Uh, once we update it on Quackle, I will figure it out for you. Um, wow, Jackson knows the S and the A hooks, of course, and I don't and really see a good way. Letters. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't have those letters exactly. He doesn't have like an O to play a G-O word and just sort of go down that way. Um, he could try and go through the P, I guess, but I'm not necessarily seeing a way for him to do it. And now he's sort of covered his tile, so I already forget what he has. Um, okay, so he's got, looks like he wants to play Redfin. Oh, wow, through the Eye of Dermic. Uh, and that's probably enough points that I think he'd be in a great position. Um, I think he has to just leave that spot and say, uh, if I get hit, okay. Uh, the problem is right. there's a lot of bingos Saint could have. He doesn't have one on his rack, but he could have something like the stirs, um, something sort of like that. And that's what Jackson's trying to figure out. Like, do I have to block? Or So with nine tiles unseen to him, there are two in the bag. So there's a lot of different combinations to work through, but he's going to try and figure out... Uh, how many combinations of those two tiles will lead to a bingo for Saint, and then that'll help uh, inform his decision on whether he needs to block. So um, I think this is a turn he should take a lot of time on. Saint will either have a bingo that he probably sees really quickly or he won't. Um, so I don't think there's any reason to rush Saint here. Um, although Saint might have to play two turns if Jackson plays sort of a blocky turn, but with two minutes and 40 seconds, uh, it's not speed playing him here. It's making the best decision. Uh, this is a, a very difficult word. Uh, people are pointing out how, oh, does Bisti fit in TWL? Yeah, and Redfin, okay. So people were pointing out how this obscure word of B-H-I-S-T-I -I is Collins only. Uh, but with an ES ending, it is an NWL. So if Jackson puts the E into space for Redfin, uh, Saint would have it. And for a second there, he had that word lined up on his rack. I don't know if he was just uh, going through iterations or if he actually saw it. Um, but Jackson's in a lot of trouble here. Um, this use is a very low probability word. I don't know if Saint will know it. Uh, if he's unsure of it, though, he'd still be able to try it. And being down all those points after Redfin, um, he would have to try it. Unless he found some really clever um, way to go through Vogue. I guess, yeah, he could play Bitch and Vogue. So Bitch scores 6, 7, 8, 12, 36, 37, 39, 40, 44 points. So um, even if Jackson plays Redfin and, and Saint plays Bish, leaving SIT... Um, it's going to depend if what Jackson draws after Redfin, if he can go out. So let's look over to the bag now. 
And in the bag is ER, I believe. Um, so ER plus after Redfin, ZT. So he, uh, the ZT though would be very difficult uh, to fit on this board to go out. So um, it's not looking great for Jackson, but we've seen him pull out more difficult wins than this. Um, okay, Bisti is only 10,000 in NWL, Wolfram's pointing out. Um, so he's saying he should know it. I did know it, and I like to think I would have found it. Um, so that leads me to believe Saint is likely to find it, but again, I don't necessarily know how many words he knows. Um, this is difficult. As a streamer, it's hard because we're going back and forth between both players' positions. Of course, when they're playing the game, they get to focus a lot more on their own turn. Um, Adam likes nerds. Uh, both Adams like nerds. Okay. Uh, trying to see where you guys want to play nerds. Through the E and Pervy, I think. Under Pervy? Oh, through Pervy. Oh, I see. Uh, so I guess the problem... Oh, no, that leaves FED. That's sort of nice. Uh, Jackson would have to see if Saint could have a response to hit uh, that Z that would be out there. So with ER plus all of his tiles, are we seeing potential sort of responses that could make it to the triple word score? Um, hmm. Yeah, it, I'm not seeing one right away. So for that reason, I like this idea by the Adams in the chat. Uh, it doesn't mean it's not there. Almost Shiraz. Uh, you could come uh, under the bug and do zest, I think is what the, the big fear. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. Uh, so if he had the E and the T and Jackson knows he has probably both S's after bug, I don't think he would play that without both, and he probably thinks he has the H as well, um, unless he thought Santa just overlooked it. So he's gonna play okay. Redfin. So now will Saint see Now the no whole game comes easy. down to word knowledge, uh, your least favorite part of this game, but uh, a very important <laughs> one regardless. Yes, here's where it really comes into play. Uh, when games are won or, or lost on on word knowledge, that's heartbreaking for me, but I have to concede that that is a very important part of the game and have lost many a game because of it. Yeah, uh, my word knowledge has gotten a lot stronger. I'm now pretty competitive in some of those airlift quizzes, and yet, even if your word knowledge feels pretty strong, generally, when you're sitting at the board, it feels very different. Um, and we'll see if he considers this beastie's word. Uh, how beastly will he be? Uh, let's see. I think we're going to know very quickly if... So no, no he's not trying no. beastie. Oh, he's going to play hiss. But even that uh, might put him in a pretty good position. It's going to score a lot. It's leaving BIT. I thought he might play... Yeah, Bish, Bish would have but... made more sense. To but he has Z point, for... But... No, he can't do this. He has Z for 32. This isn't going to be enough. Um... So for a moment when Saint was flipping through his tiles, he sort of had that beasties lined up, but I think it was just sort of a fluke. He didn't even come yeah. back to it here. Um, you know, it might have been if we told him there was a bingo there, he might have found it. Right. Um, with those tiles, they don't look like bingo tiles. No, and with his time, uh, he's if he hasn't found it at that point, he he's not going to find it, so... He's got to have his play. Well, yeah, and the E wasn't available until Jackson played it. So, like, he had just spent all this time. Oh, he's pulled it back. Um, but is it just to change what he – well, that's not even a word. Whoops. Uh, Maybe he'll crazy. pull that other S off as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, if he puts the H, it's a bit better, but uh, – Oh, you only have Jackson seconds. might even just accept it and play Z just because. Does, does Jackson have a win here? 
Yeah, Z score is okay. 32. So it's just too much uh, for mm -hmm. Saints, unless there's some huge... Oh, hit for uh, Hunter. Yokia scores a lot. Uh, I um, see. Okay, so that's why he wanted to keep that age. Um, I'm not crazy. Biss is phony, right? Uh, yeah, there's no Biss. So... But uh, Jackson now just has to do some math and is he on hold? If you're trying to beat oh, Jackson, on hold. trying to get him to do a math calculation is not the way you can beat him because his math is just so strong. Um, yeah, this is not a word, at least not in our lexicon. And I know Jackson knows this isn't a word. Uh, we could still see him challenge it. Uh, even like, so then it becomes Heather like, do you let it go because you're going to win with Z and just not worry about spread? Or do you think, you know what, this is a big tournament that those extra 30, 40 points of spread, mm. even more actually, because all those points plus, oh no, Jackson won't go out next turn, sorry. Um, so it will be still a significant amount of spread. Uh, he'll take his time here. Right now that that score, I believe, does not reflect Saints' latest play so that he, the, he's up three points over Jackson. Uh, yeah, that yeah. Right? That score okay. assumes that the play was accepted. It, yeah, so this, I, we don't know if he's on hold. He, he Saint may be on Actually, hold. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, Heather, you don't have to say hold when the bag is empty. No? Um, okay. You only, you only say hold earlier in the game to stop your opponents from drawing more tiles. Like, um, So that's actually the point of the hold process. So it's one of these rules most players don't know about. But as far as I'm, as, as far as I know, okay. So yeah, he has decided to challenge. Don't have to hold. Uh, yeah. So that's a good challenge by Jackson. Uh, like he knows that if he got this wrong, uh, he would lose to hit. Saints like uh. Um. So. Great job by Jackson there. I think most players would have left it and just sort of <laughs> won off the spread. Wow, that's a but, that's a, a game turning. That's a that's a that's a turning point. Absolutely, but he has to play Z, not Zep. Uh, it scores more anyway, so he would. But uh, you know, you never know. You challenge oh. that off. You play Zep, and then he finds Beasties, and you lose. So. Uh, <laughs> Okay, hiss, that's a word. Um, I guess still not seeing that fish play, but uh, regardless, Jackson is going to squeak out a victory. We said he wasn't in a great position, but that we've seen him pull out crazier ones. Uh, this time it was just a miss of a very sort of obscure word on a rack that didn't really look bingo prone. And... Um, Oh, Z loses after the accepted Biss. I, I was misreading uh, the chat who I thought was doing the work for me. So that's why he had to challenge. Uh, now Cesar says, how? I'm not sure if he would have lost after that. Regardless, it wasn't a word. Jackson knows his four letter words so well. And so he decided just to challenge that off. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, Cesar points out the reason he played Biss is he liked the sequence of his and then abyss and then hit up top because he thought that was the only way he was going to get enough points to win. Um, so this is, this is like a great idea. If it's a word, um, it just wasn't. 